their final war cries before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day, but their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Rothothos? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts, but to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There is nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. Herodotos. I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well. But treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived. A coward. What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its kin to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I'd convince myself was a dream. Until now, 
a peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone, like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization, a people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Herodotus. Will you be traveling with us? Only for a short trip. I have business to attend to in Athens. Herodotus is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Herodotus on your path, just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension. And all we can do is follow their lead. You would be right. Herodotus and I share enemies, too. Like in Pinor? He is. Was. Well, through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find her before they do. My niece! The Oracle lost the corruption, and now this cult? Do we know who needs them? I don't know for sure, but... I think it might be my sister. Your sister? Why, Zeus, your life is complicated? Tell me about it. But don't you worry. This book of cosmos now has three new enemies. And one of them fights like a pinar and six thunder lights. Is he always this possible? Always. That's why I like him. First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then? Upgrades to 